The European Commission ask proposers to indicate what they're going to do about IPR and exploitation. And this is an area which is addressed poorly in most proposals. What the majority of people do is they say that an agreement will be developed in the first three months of the project, at which point they'll sign a consortium agreement and that IPR will be dealt with within that consortium agreement. Rather than thinking about the issue up front and saying, what IP are the partners bringing to the party at the beginning? What IP will be developed during the, the project? In generic terms, how that will be captured? Will there be somebody responsible for actually capturing the IP? Which means, will there be somebody whose responsibility it is to actually patent that technology? And then it's about who has rights to use that technology. Will all the partners have the rights to use it or will it only be the commercial partners? What are the roles of the other partners? Will they have licenses to use that technology? All of this can easily be established in advance. A simple explanation and agreement can be put into the proposal. Proposals which actually take that approach are already miles ahead of those that say, we'll leave it until a consortium agreement. The consortium agreement approach irritates a lot of evaluators of proposals. And actually, there's a real benefit to people who can present their case on intellectual property clearly, explicitly, and with showing the, the appropriate planning and delivery of a legacy beyond the life of the project. There are a series of questions which proposers should ask of themselves and present a, comp a clear answer to within a proposal, such as what intellectual property is brought to the project, what intellectual property is developed during the course of the project, how the intellectual property will be protected and then exploited after the project is over generating a genuine legacy of the project. The European Commission do have a boilerplate IP agreement. You can download it when you make your application. However, the Commission have no objection to you coming up with your own version of an agreement. What they want to fund is the development of your technology, not lawyers. <laughs>